Okay, this is your video of training for your Water Rangers test kit. Really encourage you to go through your guide. It's gonna go through all the steps that we have here. We have some goodies in here that you can take some uh, badges and stickers. Um, if you are recording on your phone, we have a splash proof phone case. Um, we ask you to record your strips on this and then you have a notepad if you prefer to write with that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're doing the date and time and the body of water and the weather. Um, this is a very fast video, so I'm not going to be recording, but I encourage you to have two people and you have one person record the information. Um, we are out in a boat right now. If you are on shore, you're gonna hang up your thermometer in a tree for at least five minutes. In this case, we're not in a shady spot. Um, so Abby is holding the thermometer uh, to, uh, to do the air temperature in the shade. We're first going to use our sample cup. We also include a reacher stick, and this is going to um, allow you to reach the water if you're a little bit far away. Always rinse your cup three times in the water that you are about to sample. You're never gonna put your fingers inside the, the cup. It's gonna contaminate, especially if you have sunscreen. I'm gonna take the sample below the surface, bring it here into the boat, there we go. And we're going to do our conductivity and temperature. So you're going to pull the cap off. Do you want to know what any of these parameters mean? That's in your book and there's more information online. We're going to press the top button once to turn it on. It's going to cycle through and then we're going to put it in the water. It's important you do this test first because as soon as I take the water out, the temperature is changing. And as you can see here, the top number is the conductivity in micro Siemens, 80. And the bottom is the water temperature, 23.6. So that's your water temperature. If you pull it out, it disappears. So you're gonna keep it in the water to take your reading. When you're finished, you press the top button again to turn it off. Next, we're going to do our test strips. These are pool test strips, um, and we found that they're the best for pH. Make sure you have dry hands when you do this. And you're gonna have, if it's a new kit, you're gonna have to take the seal off. After that, I'm gonna shake one out. Dip it in the water for two seconds. One, two. We're gonna wait 20 seconds and compare. When we compare, we hold it vertically here and we compare by moving our strip along to compare the colors. If it's partway between two values, we take the absolute center. So between um, 6.8 and 7.2 would be seven. Always make sure you don't have your sunglasses on when you, when you record these tests because color tests are really uh, very important. If you're participating in one of our studies, you'll find this reference card. All you do to participate is lay your test strip on there and take a photo um, and add it to your observation when you publish it online, that's it. We have a little container here where you can dispose of your used test strips and you can mail them back to us for recycling. Next, we're going to do your Secchi depth reading. This is a measure of water clarity. And there's a little nubby thing you can pull off here. Again, we don't want to be wearing sunglasses. We want to let this roll straight down until we can't see it anymore. If you're finding that it's not going down straight, just sort of move it along until it drops down. It's got a weight on it. So that moment where you're about to find out what it is, this is the important moment. I'm gonna raise it and lower it. If I can see it, I can't see it. Always sunglasses off. And then we take the point at the water. In this case, we have 6.1 meters. We're gonna record this in meters. I like to pull my rope up and then I can wind it back up in the... So this is a very clear lake. Um, every lake has its own normal values and it changes over season. So it's a really important test. And then we're going to do dissolved oxygen. This is important that you keep it in the shade. So we're gonna open it up and we have our sample cup. You're gonna take one of the ampules out of here. You're gonna notice the little a uh, white line there, that's a weak point in the glass. When I do this test, I'm gonna go below the surface 
And I'm going to try and do this fast because as soon as it comes up, it's exposed to the air. Up, and I put in the ridge, and I, I sort of lever it. So you saw that I wasn't pressing down, I was sort of levering it. I take it out, I invert it, letting the bubble go up and down two times. And then I set my two minute timer. Now, while that's developing, I'm gonna deal with this. The little tip is still in here, so you're gonna to wanna to pour this out very slowly. And there's some little whirl pack bags in your kit that you can put your, um, your, your used um, ampoules and the little tips that are in there. So while it's, it's um, recording, I like to record all my information. Um, and then you can see that it has all the information that we recorded. On the back of each sheet, there's also space for your notes. Done, okay. So here we have our comparison chart. I always like to take it out. I find it much easier to compare that way. To pull, take it out, you pull from the top. Okay, and then to put it back in, I'm gonna put it underneath a little nub and press down. So it is a little bit of a pull, but it's um, good. So then, the important thing with this is that you take your time to record this, because it can be quite difficult to compare. And you move the ampoule up and down until you find that perfect spot. I like to put it in the shade, tilt it around. You can see. And I say you have to do it with a friend and you have to agree. In this case, it is between eight and 10, which is high, which is what we'd expect with a nice healthy lake like this. Once you're done, pack up your kit and um, head off to your next sample sawing.